We often talk about the dangers brought to us by animals and even plants, but unfortunately sometimes the most dangerous threats come from other human beings, like burglars who seek to benefit from your goods and take them from you in the blink of an eye. I must admit they aren't quite smart and street savvy, for the most part. And they have one of the best ways to steal our cars, your money, and even the most valued possessions you keep inside your house. But don't worry about it too much. Today we're going to be looking at things that people want to steal from you and how to stop them. You'll learn a bit about their tactics, but you will also learn some tricks that can help you prevent your stuff from getting stolen. You'll be surprised to see how they can steal your car in the blink of an eye. But you'll also be relieved to know that you can stop them with simple actions that don't even put your life in danger. Let's check these things out. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Cash at home Banks are usually the best place to keep our money safe. But I get it, different people have different reasons to keep their cash at home, and honestly, it's always good to have some cash with us. I mean, we can't fully depend on credit cards. Now, the thing is, large amounts of cash can be easily taken from you, especially if someone were to break into your home. If you keep your cash at home, I'm gonna take a guess and say that your money is in some sort of safe space inside your bedroom. That's safe, but the fact that I can figure that out is an indicator that most people know about these hideouts, so probably no spot in your home is as safe as you think. For that reason, if you need to store large amounts of cash in your home, it is recommended that you put it in different parts of the house. Put some in an obvious spot so burglars can take it if they break into your home, but save the rest in other corners where they're less likely to search. Also, get yourself a safe box. These things are heavy, and it would require more time and skill for them to actually take your money from there. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Jewelry When you work hard and you make some extra cash, you're probably going to treat yourself to some nice pieces of jewelry. Bracelets, earrings, rings, expensive watches, you name them, you will probably want to have them all. So if you do have them, it's probably not the best idea to have them on full display in your master bedroom. I know it's so easy to lay these things on top of a table, in front of your mirror, or maybe on the counter, but they'd be safer, again, inside of a safe. And it'd be better if that safe box is in a different room. And I know you're probably thinking it would be nice to have these inside your room since it would make it so much easier for you to reach for them whenever you want to wear them. Unfortunately, drawers and furniture inside your room are probably the first place where burglars are going to search. So if you invest in some jewelry, make sure you also invest in tools that will help you keep it safe. The TV When it comes to the TV, there's really not much you can actually do to keep it safe. I mean, it would be quite uncomfortable to put it inside a box and take it to a safe space every night before you go to bed, unless it's a mini-TV? Nah, I, I got nothing for that one, actually. That would also be pretty paranoid and a bit over the top. However, if it's possible, you could mount it to your wall, and the same applies to other big electronics. If you attach them to furniture or other parts of your house, it is less likely that burglars will want to go through the hassle of removing them and taking them along on their way out. These criminals surely want valuable stuff, but they want it easy and fast, so just make sure your electronics are not too easy to grab away. Video Games Speaking of electronics, video game consoles are also easy to grab. After your bedroom, the living room is the other jackpot for burglars, so you want to make sure things are quite safe and not just laying around. But again, you don't want to pack your video game consoles and all your games at the end of the day. What you can do is get a drawer or a TV table where you can lock your games every day after you're done using them. Video games are very expensive, and if burglars were to see them just laying all over your living room, they would probably take them. So make sure things inside your house are neat, organized, and secure. This goes doubly for stuff like Nintendo Switches, which are much easier to put in secure places. Laptops When it comes to laptops, I don't think there's a specific place for them. I mean, sure, you probably have a desktop or a backpack where you usually keep them. But when you're home, you could easily just leave it on the couch, on the kitchen table, under your bed, or other places around the house. After all, the thing about laptops is that they're very portable, and they don't take much space, so you could literally leave them anywhere. But for that reason, it is a good idea to stow them away whenever you leave the house or whenever you're done for the day. A great way to do it is by disguising it. You could wrap it in a towel, some bed sheets, or even with one of your shirts. And that way you won't have to worry about it if you have to leave it for a technology-free weekend away from home. 
And since we're at it, let me remind you that laptops are one of those possessions that easily get lost or stolen. So please, wherever you go, make sure you keep an eye on your laptop. Don't just leave it there in random spots, it could be gone at any second without you even noticing. Internet Passwords In the modern world, there are more theft-related crimes that happen online than the ones that happen in person. For that reason, it is very important to have strong and secure passwords. Today, you'll need passwords and pins for all kinds of online transactions, but some bad-intentioned people out there could steal your information and access stuff that was never meant for them. I'm sure a lot of you would be scared if someone hacked into your Facebook or email accounts, but can you imagine someone stealing your online banking info? Let's just say it would be pretty bad. However, you're secure from them from places like NordVP- We're not doing this, no. There are a few things you can do to make strong and secure passwords. You can start by avoiding the use of real words, and then make long passwords and try not to write them down anywhere. You might not believe this, but there have been many cases in which people got their passwords stolen after someone found their info on sticky notes. Instead, get familiar with password manager tools that your computer probably has. And also, try to change your passwords every two to three months so your information is not at risk and don't type your information when you're navigating the web through random networks that you're not familiar with. Your phone. Your phone is probably one of your most prized possessions. All those secret texts with your significant other and all those things you've shared on social media surely mean a lot to you. They might not mean a lot to other people, but still, many people out there would love to have a phone like yours. First of all is that sometimes phone theft is inevitable, but there are still a couple of things you can do to get it back and keep your information safe. First of all, you want to make sure you set up a lock screen with a proper code that is not 1234 or anything like that. Also, if you go to crowded places, avoid having your phone inside your pants pocket. This is literally like asking for it to be stolen. Instead, put your phone and other small valuables inside your backpack or an inner pocket that no one can access. In the worst case scenario, make use of Find My Phone or Find My Device to track your phone and call the police to help you track the thief once you figure it out. And in case this doesn't work, then just wipe out all information that could be stored on your phone. Seriously, change all passwords and sign off remotely from any apps that could be using sensitive information. You don't want random people purchasing stuff from apps with your credit card or anything of that sort. Your house. So far we've talked a lot about how to prevent people from stealing things from you. And a lot of those things are inside your house and could be taken while you're away, or even when you're there, already sleeping. But what if you could stop burglars from entering at all? Well, there are, in fact, a few things that you can do to keep your home safe. First of all, keep your front yard clean and don't leave any attractive stuff outside. This could lure people in and make them want to check out what's inside. Also, you can trick burglars by making them believe that there are people home, even when there aren't. Leave some lights on and maybe even turn on a TV or a radio. This will make them think that there's activity inside the home and will probably discourage them from going in. And of course, make sure all your windows and side doors are properly locked, and make sure that no spare keys are left outside. Now if you really, really think that someone is coming to break into your home, you should just call the police. There are many things they can do for you even if nothing has happened yet. They can survey the area and evaluate whether there's a threat or not. Well, let me start by saying that if you see this, it's probably because someone near you is trying to steal your car. This is actually a very smart way for them to do it that you'll not even notice when the criminal act happens. What the penny does is that it keeps the door from locking again after you're out of your car. They could put this coin while the car is parked anywhere. You'll then come over, unlock the car, go for a ride, and when you come back, your car door won't lock again. But you're not going to notice it. So it's recommended that you always check your car before you go in. And if you spot something on, like a penny inside the door handle, then you should take it as a warning sign. Remove the coin and probably call the cops. And since we're talking about cars, another good thing to do is to avoid leaving any valuable stuff in plain sight. Especially when you park in spots that you're not familiar with. You never know who might be hanging out near you. Your Identity And the last thing on this list is your identity itself. This is way more valuable than any other thing I have mentioned so far. You don't want your personal information to fall in the wrong hands. So far, if you take good care of your laptops, your phones, and your passwords, you're already preventing identity theft. On top of that, make sure you don't share sensitive information in unnecessary situations. Things like your credit card numbers, your social security, and other personal identification numbers should never be given to people who don't require it. And if you do need to share it with someone, make sure it is through a safe and trustworthy environment. 
Don't give it away via text message or through any other means of communication that might compromise your identity. So, there you have it. I hope those tips help you stay safe. All I hope is that you learn to watch your back and keep your stuff safe. Without being paranoid, at least. And if you really feel like your life is in danger, give the cops a call. These matters should be handled by the authorities, and you should never put your life at risk. Are there any other tips you would like to share with us? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.